Come and take your place, O Lord. Father, we hand over this program unto you. Come and take over, come and take control in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that our gathering together tonight shall be unto you in the name of Jesus. Father God Almighty, we cry unto you, O Lord, every praise that we shall offer, every worship. Father, we pray that it shall be acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brethren, in 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 11 to 14, we are not going to read. 2 Chronicles 5, 11 to 14. When praises went unto heaven, the Bible says that the glory of God filled the temple, which means the presence of God filled the temple, which means God Almighty himself came down into the temple. We are going to cry unto him. That as we press him tonight, his presence will fill this temple in the name of Jesus. God Almighty will come down to tabernacle with us and to receive our praises. Let's cry unto him. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you, O Lord. Father, as we praise you tonight, we pray that your presence, your glory, will fill the temple in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that we come down in your majesty to inhabit our praises in the name of Jesus. Lord, let our praise ascend unto you, a sweet-smelling server tonight, in the name of Jesus. And let thee bring your presence down unto us, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brethren, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, reading from verse 15 to 22, or even reading the entire chapter of the scripture, we saw that when praises went to heaven, deliverance from enemy came for Jehoshaphat and the children of Israel. They sang, and three countries that came against them were defeated. Ammon, Moab, and St. Mia. So we're going to cry unto God that as we praise him tonight, there shall be deliverance of all kinds in the name of Jesus. Let's cry unto him. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you. Father, as many as are afflicted, battered and beaten, Father, as we praise you tonight, O Lord, let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. As, as many, O oh Lord God, as have been held captive by the enemy, Father, as we praise you tonight, Lord God Almighty, we ask, Father, that we let everyone be delivered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In the same scripture, when praise went to heaven, victory came down as we praise God tonight. Victories shall be the portion of each and every one of us in the name of Jesus. Let's ask God. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you as we praise you tonight. Father God, we pray every one of us shall be victorious in every aspect of our lives in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, we pray, O oh Lord, that you will grant us victory all around in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Acts chapter 16, verse 25 to 26, when praises went to heaven, liberty came down. Because the word of God says, in the presence of God, there is liberty. Let's cry unto him that everyone that is being held by the enemy, there shall be liberty tonight in the name of Jesus. Every afflicted shall be set free in the name of Jesus. Let's cry unto him. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you. Let there be liberty, O Lord. Your word says in the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Lord God Almighty, oh, let our joy be full tonight as we praise you. Let there be liberty in the name of Jesus. 
Let there be deliverance in the name of Jesus. Let there be victory in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our Father and our God, once again, we hand over this program unto you. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Father, as we continue, Father, continue with us. Father, take all the glory and give us all the blessings. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let's just go ahead and give God a wave offering. Let's just wave to the King of kings and the Lord of lords, uh, the Lord that did a wonderful and marvelous thing in our midst yesterday and again is going to do better and greater thing in our midst tonight. Let's give him the wave offering. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. Be thou exalted, most high God. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Amen. Let's just welcome ourselves this evening. Let's welcome the person to our left. Let's welcome the person to our right. Let us welcome them and congratulate them for seeing the last Monday of the year 2019. If we're not for God on our side, what would have become of our Israel? We thank God Almighty who has made it possible for myself, for yourself to be among the living this evening in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. As we come into your presence, we pass the gate of praise into your sanctuary. Still we stand in faith to faith. We'll look upon your countenance and see the fullness of your grace. We can only bow down and say, of your grace and we can only bow down and say
for your truth. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, who we bow before your truth. True, you are the glory of we bow before your throne and worship at your feet. Lord, we bow before your throne. Hey, glory of God, we cry, glory of God. to see. Hey, you are the key that opens the door. You are the owner of my soul. The bush that burning that never consume. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I will bow and worship your name. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are Lord. You are, Lord. You are the eyes that I used to see. You are the key that opens the door. You are the owner of my soul. And the boost of bodies that never consume. What shall I render to you, O oh Lord? I will bow and worship your name. You are Lord. Hey, I will bow and worship your name. I will bow and worship 
Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please yes, let's, hallelujah. You know, let's move a little hallelujah. bit forward hallelujah. so we can let's move forward so we can enjoy the presence of God. Yes. yes the anointing hallelujah. flows from front downwards. Hallelujah. Can you give me key of F? Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So before I everybody, I think many people don't know that before I became a pastor. I used to do this music thing. I used to praise God. That's why my name is Praise. <laughs> so today, we are going to praise God. But because I'm the one that is going to open the service, I want us to take it very easy and very slow. I want to take you back to a kind of music that, you know, is called High Life. A music that when we praise God with it, you're just going to move to the left, to the right, no shaking, no stress. 
And I trust God that as you begin to dance and praise the Lord, heavens will open on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. If you remember David in the Bible, I was just preaching a sermon not too long ago. And David, the Bible said, he danced like never before. He didn't care anything around him. But you know what important thing about that particular um, Bible verse when he was dancing? The Bible says his wife was saying that, why are you dancing shamelessly in Amen. front of men? Hallelujah. And he said one thing. He said, it was before the Lord who chose me over your father. Many people, it was God that chose you to be here today. Do you know how many people have died in the last one hour? Do you know how many people have died in the last one day? Do you know how many people have died in the last one week? How many people have died in the last one month? But David said, it was before the Lord who chose me over your father. And you are going to say, I'm going to dance before the Lord who chose me to be alive. Who chose me to have these children I have. Who chose me to have this job I have? You are going to dance before him. And I tell you, you will see that your life will never remain the same. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I never see, I never see, oh, wonder, 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 wonder. I never see, I never see, oh, wonder, 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 wonder. I never see, I never see you. Oh. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see, I never see you. Oh. Wonder, 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 wonder. Jesus, now I oh. Now I am. Oh. Jesus, now I I never see you. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see you. I never see you. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this kind God before. Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see this kind God before. Wonder, 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 wonder. He brought up my bread. He shook up my tea. Wonder, 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 wonder. Jesus, now I. Jesus now I am I never see I never see you Wonder 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 I never see I never see you Wonder 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 Ijo, Ijo, Baba, Mwaba, come on, hey. Emi yo riru ala ru yiri yo. Iya nubi, Iya nubi. Emi yo riru ala ru yiri yo. Iya nubi, Iya nubi. Emi yo riru ala ru yiri yo. Iya nubi, Iya nubi. Ato bitu, abala na to shogula. Iya nubi, Jesu ato bitu. Hallelujah. For all the things he did for you in this 2019. I never see, I never see you. Wonder, 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 wonder. wonder. I never see, I never see you. Wonder, 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 wonder. Jesus, now I Jesus, now I Wonder, 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 wonder. I never see, I never see you. <laughs> I can't hear you. Tell him. Tell him tonight. Hey. As he, as he 
done something new for you. Come on, tell him. Hey, for that job, for that new house you got me this year. Hey, for that job, Oshé Milan, do you say, Hey, come on, shout a big noise for the whole Mariga. Oshé Milan, do you say, Hey, 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 She she inu mi do ayokunu o komi she she inu mi do ni jesu ayokunu o komi Tori Moni Jesu Lobuwa Ayokunu Okomi Everybody swing it up Shesheinu Mitu Ayokunu Okomi Shesheinu Mitu Ayokunu Okomi Tori Moni Okay, let me sing it in English. Come on. My lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. My lifetime. Hey, I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime, He will take care of me. He will never, never let me down. Hey, I will give God my lifetime. Quiet, let me hear you say, hey. My lifetime. I will give God my You are ready to give God. Hey, all my lifetime, I will give God my lifetime. My lifetime, hey, I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime, He will take care of me. Oh, well. He will never, never let me down. Come on. I will give God my lifetime. Sing it. My lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. Come on. My lifetime. I will give God my lifetime. If I give God my lifetime. Never, never. 
never let me down. Come on, I will give God my life. You will never, you will never, never let me down. I will give God my life. He will never, yeah, He will never, never let me down. I will give God my life. Easy. Come on. Lots of people till we hail, 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 came down and glory filled my soul when at the cross my savior made me whole my sins were washed away and my night was done today heavens came down and glory filled my soul Heavens came down, heavens came down, and glory filled my soul. Hey, when I was across, my Savior made me home. My sins were washed, my sins were washed away. My night was dark today. Heavens came down. Glory filled my soul. Come on. When at the cross, my Savior made me old. My sins were washed away. And my night was done today. Say, heavens came down. And glory filled my soul. When I say praise the Lord, Joe, you say what? I can't hear you. I say praise the Lord, Joe. Praise the Lord, Joe. Come on. Now let's give our hands to the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. for the King of Kings, the Almighty God. Hey! Baba Mora Warani Nu Ayemi. Hey! Ayemi Dara. You don't know that one. Hey! Old school. All the people that were born in this place. Baba Mora Warani Nu Ayemi. Say! Ayemi Dara. Mora more running new, I am me. Hey, I am me, Okay, fainty, fainty. Just so need more fainty, just so need more fainty. Me or less you boot. Fainty, fainty. Just so need more fainty, just so need more fainty. Me or less you boot. Okay, that's second eye out. We are going higher. Come on, hey! We are going higher. We are going higher, 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 higher. Every day, exceedingly great. We are going higher. Come on, hey! We are 
for you this year.
Senhor. Me mama, me mama, you coward to me. Come on, hey! You're not dancing. It's a lot, y'all. Macho balo, olua. Macho balo, olua. Come on. Macho balo, olua. Macho balo, olua. Say, kabuli si takuli. Only the females that God did something for this year. Only the females. Okay. But if you are a male that God has done something for you this year, please move to the front. Me, God has done something for me. So me, I'm going to join them. My job Thank you, Pastor B. Hey, my job Show them your dance moves. Come on. Hey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hey. Macho Mayo, Macho Mayo, Macho Mayo, Macho Mayo, come on, Macho Mayo, hey, Macho Mayo, Macho Mayo, Macho, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Alayo Bini, Alayo Bini. Okay, if you know that God has done something great in your life, I want you to just tell everybody to shift and in your own way, just begin to give him a dance offering. Come on. Oh yeah. Give him your dance moves. Hey! A millennial tiro. We pay more late than Corish. Hey, Supra Maria, Nureta. Oh, Lua. Hey, a millennial tie. Tell your neighbor. Hey! Shuba Maria Nureba, oh you are ruled by me. 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 You to ribe, the millennium tie it through. You may go lay down on the shade. Shuba Maria Nureba. You are God. You are not just big You are not just large You are a great God. You are God. You are God. You are not just big You are not just large you are big, you are big, you are big, 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 big,
Lodge, 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 Jesus, Help my Jesus, Help my Jesus, Help my Jesus, Help my Jesus. Help my Jesus. Okay. Help my Jesus. 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 Day by day, all the way, all the way, we go to hell. Come into your presence. I am love. Hey. It's your favor that makes me come into your presence. I am love. My helper. My helper. My helper. My helper. Helper. My helper. 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 That is something that makes me come into your presence. My helper. Oh, you are a Toby. A Toby. Oh, a Toby. Hey. Oh, you are a Toby. A Toby. Oh, a Toby. Go send it to the feet. Jaka wave. Oh, a Toby. Go send it to the feet. Jaka wave. Oh, a Toby. Oh, do I? Oh, do I? You are great, yes, you are holy one. Walked upon the street, raised the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything we think about you is great. You are great, you are great, you are great, yes, you are. Say, Holy One, you walk upon the sea, raise the dead. You reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything we think about you. You are great. 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 Hey. You are great. You are great. Say. You are great. 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 You are great
of you, one thing we really desire, as we worship you, Lord come and change our lives, one thing, one thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire, as we worship, as we worship you, Lord come and change our lives, one, two, three. This is my story. Come on, this, this is, is my song. song. <laughs> Praising my Savior all night long. This is my story. This is my song. This is my Savior all night long. 
Generation oh, for, for to show his excellence. excellence. Hey. All, All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. We are a chosen. We are a chosen generation. Oh, for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says. Leave your life of faith. I know who I am. Hey, walk in power. Walk in power. I know who I am. Oh, I know who I am. Come on, we'll say. so much for me I cannot tell it all cry out if I had 10,000 tongues it won't still be you now we say So much for me, I cannot tell it all. Say, I can If I had ten thousand tongues, it wouldn't be enough. We say. Together, Chuku Nara can live. When you heal, you heal completely. Chuku Nara people, he can do it. Hey, what shall I render? For he has done so very much for me. Hey, what shall I do? I 
I want you to sing that song like you mean it. If you really know that he has done something for you from January to December, sing that song like you really mean it from the bottom of your heart. Jesus, Hallelujah. as you have rendered your praises and dances, and dance and dance and dance tonight to the Almighty, I pray for you this evening. Everything that is making you to dance, to turn around in 2019, it will not turn to sorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. That's your story of joy. That you have rendered unto the Lord. It will not be stolen in 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, we thank God for tonight. We thank God for yesterday because yesterday was great. And I know that for a sure, today will be greater. The almighty God that has brought you here in safety. We take you home back in safety in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory. Father, Lord, that is your name. No one will ever share the glory with anyone. No one will share your glory. Father, O oh Lord, we give you all the glory tonight. We thank you, O oh Lord, for what you have done up to this moment. We thank you for what you have not done. Father, Lord, accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. And at the end of this praise night, O oh Lord, Father, let your children, O oh Lord, Go home rejoicing in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Our time is fast spent, but we are still going to pray and continue to dance. Tonight, I am going to pray for Johnny Mercy throughout year 2020. Brethren, year 2020 is right there. It's right there. But I pray that as you walk into that year, as you move into that year, that year has a name. It is called year 2020. You will not walk into pit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My humble prayer for you tonight is that as you go back and forth, as you embark on journey day in, day out, you will not embark on the journey of no return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your wife will not embark on a journey of no return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your entire family will not embark on a journey of no return in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you go in that year, throughout that year, you will return home peacefully. I say you will return home peacefully. The devil will not steal your joy in the name of Jesus. Sometimes we take the grace of God for granted. This church is known to be a traveling church. There was a time that almost 90% of the church members traveled on Tuesday, apart from regular travel. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, programs, and they covered miles. God has been faithful. 
We are going to pray tonight that that faithfulness of the Almighty God on this church will not disappear in year 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That journey mercy, that journey mercy that God has bestowed on this parish, I pray tonight it will not disappear in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, we have members that travel by here. We have those that travel by sea. We have those that travel by road every day. I pray as we continue to embark on journey back to back in year 2020, no one will be involved in any accident in the mighty name of Jesus. The book of Luke 21 verse 18. Uh, Brother Femi, please, if you can put it on the screen. Luke 21 verse 18 says, but there shall be not an hair of your head perish. I prophesy into your life. As you enter into that year 2020, nothing will perish in your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Isaiah 42 verse 3. Isaiah 42 verse 3. I'm just going to read the first uh, few lines. No, 43 verse 2. Sorry. 43 2. It's 43 verse 2. Say, when you pass through water. Okay, yes. When thou pass through water, I will be with thee. And through the river, they shall not overflow thee. Brethren, a family went on a cruise. And unfortunately, the little daughter slipped from the hand of the grandpa into the ocean. That girl died. The case is still in the court. I pray for you. Wherever you go by road, either by sea or by here, not a single thing, any member of your family will never perish in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, the Titanic went on a cruise. On the first sail, Almost everybody on board perished. That will not be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. If you travel by here, your plane will not explode. In year 2020, when you drive on the road, the almighty God will protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 121, verse 3 to 8. Brother Fabi, just put it there because I have just uh, five more minutes. Less than five minutes. Verse 3 says, He will not let your foot. I, Psalm 121. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. That to be moved. He that kept thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall not slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all the evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going in and thy coming out in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, as you go in and go out in year 2020, the almighty God will continue to preserve you. As your children, your wife, your husband, as they are going in and out in year 2020 and beyond, the hand of the almighty God will continue to protect them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, for your sake, in year 2020, heaven will build its edge around you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just about, I think a couple of days ago, there was a plane crash in Kachastan or wherever. I don't know. I can't remember the name, but it's one of those uh, old Soviet um, country. Yes. There was a plane crash. And the surprising thing when the investigator got there was that uh, despite the impact, despite the weight of the plane, and the load of fuel on that plane, that plane did not catch fire. 
The impact alone killed about 12. But because the almighty God is still on the throne, that plane did not catch fire. I don't know how many of you will board plane in this year, 2020. I prophesy tonight. You will not board a plane that will explode on the air in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, in year 2020, the almighty God will guide you. He will direct your step. This is your journey of life that you have started. No matter how challenging it is going to be in year 2020, you will reach your destination. I say you will reach your destination in the mighty name of Jesus. Your journey will not be cut short in the mighty name of Jesus. My sincere prayer for you in the year 2020 and beyond is that henceforth, you will not walk alone. I say you will not walk alone. The almighty God will walk with you in the mighty name of Jesus. As God liveth in year 2020, you will not know sorrow. I say you will not know sorrow. They will not gather together to console you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The incident that happened with one of our men of God, it is quite unfortunate. But I pray in year 2020, any journey that you will embark on, that you will say, and I know I will not go on this journey. You will not even think about it in the mighty name of Jesus. When it's about for you to go to that journey, something will destroy the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, every satanic interference, every demonic interference in your life in year 2020, henceforth they are canceled in the mighty name of Jesus. I say they are canceled in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. When a man is on a journey and he reaches a crossroad, he will ask for help. He will ask for the way. I pray for you tonight. You will not hit the wall in year 2020. I say when you are confused, the almighty God will give you direction in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Heaven will direct your step up in the mighty name of Jesus. Tonight, I decree those that avow that you will not reach your journey destination in year 2020, tonight, they will be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. And those powers that have been assigned to monitor your journey, maybe some of you don't know, I come from Africa, and I come from a part of Africa where <laughs> uh, they see you, it doesn't matter, they don't need a mirror to see you. All they need to do is just to open their eyes. They know where you are. They know where you go. They know everything. Those power that has been assigned to monitor your movement. From tonight, they are blindfolded in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And like that, the G.O. prayed. If they don't hands off from your case, they will not see this next year in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not get lost in year 2020. I pray acceleration into your life. As you continue to go, you will go in safety. As you continue to travel, you will travel in safety. The almighty God that will take you around the world, wherever you go, he will continue to protect you. He will protect your children. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Wave your hands to Jesus if you are enjoying God's presence tonight. Hallelujah. Today is day two, and it can only get better. Hallelujah. Today again, we are here to fellowship with the King of Kings. And uh, session one is done. And then we are going in that same might and strength into session two. Are you ready? Ask your neighbor, say, are you ready? We are about to enter into the second lap of the marathon. Are you ready? Are you ready? What's your neighbor's response? I want to hear a resounding yes! Hallelujah. With that um, same spirit, I want us to welcome a wonderful and beautiful sister into our midst. 
I'm meeting her also for the first time. Let us welcome the meet of Sister Chenyan. Hallelujah. Give God all the glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for having me here today. I give God all the glory for this, uh, for this church. It's beautiful. I am welcomed in the presence of the Lord. Obviously, he is here. Hallelujah. Amen. We just want to give God all the glory tonight and just worship him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. If you guys know the songs, just sing them along with me. Allow the Holy Spirit to just lead you guys in the presence of worship in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Take your place, Lord. Have your way. I'm just a vessel, nothing more. And when you're done, please take the glory. I'm satisfied to see you glorified. Hallelujah, take your place, Lord. Have your way, God. I'm just a vessel and nothing more. And when you're done, please take the glory, God. I'm satisfied just to see you glorified.
to your glory, Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Sing along with me. This song is Jesus at the center of it all. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus at the center of it all, Jesus at the center of it all from begin to the end it will always be it's always been you jesus 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 the center and everything revolves around you Jesus you nothing else matters nothing in this world will do Lord it's all on to Jesus, you are the center, and everything revolves around you, Jesus, you, from my heart to the heavens, Jesus, be the center, it's all about you, yes, it's all Hallelujah. Jesus, you are the reason why I lift my hands, why I lift my voice, why I sing to you.
worship Him. You ain't my heart.
to God, glory to God forever. We sing glory to God. We lift your name up. Glory to God. We lift your name up. Glory to God forever, God. For he is worthy, hallelujah, God, you are worthy, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us, dear God. Thank you, Father, for loving us and choosing us, almighty God. Hallelujah, Lord, you are worthy, Father. We thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Take glory, almighty God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. You are worthy, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, Jesus. I've risen. He is alive. That's just in my spirit. He's got the victory. He reigns on high. Our God is risen. He is alive. Whatever it is you're worried about, remember that God has risen and he is alive. He's got the victory. And he reigns on high. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Our God is risen. He's still a miracle worker. Hallelujah. He's still a healer. Hallelujah. He's still a resurrector in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He's still our redeemer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is risen. He is alive. He's got the victory. He reigns on. Our God is an awesome God. 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 Our God is an awesome God.
awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Our God is an awesome God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We give you glory, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you Lord, I love you more than anything. Hallelujah. There is none like you. Thank you, Jesus. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I could search for all eternity, Lord, and find there is none like you. There is none like you, God. There is none like you. Nobody, nobody. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Overcomer shout hallelujah. May God inhabit our praises tonight in the name of Jesus. Every blessing that follow the children of God as they praise him. May they follow us tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh, they will not just end, us, end with us tonight. They will follow us all through 2020 in the name of Jesus. Brethren, it is time to pray. In this segment, we are not going to be sitting down. We are going to rise up on our feet. And I want to encourage each and every one of us to pray. Because there was a time during the journey of the children of Israel from uh, Egypt to Canaan land. At a point, they began to murmur in the hear of God. And God told them, 
<laughs> As you have spoken in my ears, so will I do unto you. Unfortunately for them, they did not speak well. They spoke defeat. They spoke failure. They spoke death. And that was what became of them. But tonight, we shall speak victory. We shall speak progress. We shall pray abundance. We shall pray enlargement. In the name of Jesus. In this segment, we shall be praying for the growth of the body of Christ. And we shall be praying for the growth of even restoration arena. I pray that as we join our faith together tonight to petition the throne of grace, that God will answer us speedily in the name of Jesus. Our anchor scriptures have been taken from Jeremiah chapter 30. Jeremiah chapter 30, and we are going to read verse 19. He says, Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving, and the voice of them that make merry. And this is God Almighty speaking. He said, And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. God will multiply us, we shall not be few in the name of Jesus. He said further, He said, I will also glorify them, and see they shall not be small. I pray tonight that God will glorify this church in the city of Stanford, in the state of Connecticut, in the nation of America. And we shall not be small in the name of Jesus. So we are going to cry unto him. God, multiply us, O Lord, in accordance with your word. Let's cry unto him. Let's ask him to multiply us in accordance to his promises. He is the one that was spoken directly in that scripture. Let's ask him to multiply us so that we will not be few. The more, the merrier. Let's ask God to multiply us. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you tonight. Multiply us, O oh Lord. Do not let us be few. Father God Almighty, we cry unto you. We seek your face. Father, numerically multiply us. Father, spiritually multiply us. Lord God Almighty, as a ministry, financially multiply us, oh Lord. Lord God Almighty, even materially multiply us because we desire a sanctuary of our own. Lord God Almighty, physically multiply us, oh Lord. Father, you have spoken your word concerning restoration arena. You said you will multiply us. We will not be few. Father, in every aspect of our life, multiply us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you tonight. Father, multiply us, O oh Lord. Multiply your church. Do not let us be few. In the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you and we seek your face. You are still in the business of multiplication. When Jesus Christ was here on the surface of, of the heart, during his earthly ministry, the word of God says, multitude followed him. It was an era of multitude. Lord God Almighty, do not let us be few. Multiply us, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. The second part of that scripture says, it says, I will glorify them and they shall not be small. Let's ask God to glorify himself in our midst. To glorify his name. In LCCG Restoration Arena, Stanford, Connecticut. That we shall not be small. Lord God Almighty, 
We will not be that small church and that small or no corner of the city. We cry unto you, O Lord. Let your glory locate us. Let your glory be found upon us. Because when your glory comes down upon you, upon us, we know we shall not be small. Lord God Almighty, spiritually, let your glory come down upon us. Father, spiritually, let your glory come down upon us. Father God Almighty, increase us, O oh Lord, on every side. Let your glory be seen upon us, Father, arena. Father, Put us on the top of hill that cannot be hidden. Let the whole nation flow into your church, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus, our Father and our God, we cry unto you. Father God Almighty, yeah, increase your church. Increase us numerically. Increase us financially. Increase us spiritually. Let your glory multiply upon your church. Do not let us be small. In the name of Jesus, our Father and our God, we cry unto you. Yeah, 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 Morocco, Simote, Morocco, Lili, Mama. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Revelation chapter 14 verse 15. Revelation chapter 14 verse 15. It reads, And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Trust in thy sickle, and reap. For the time is come for thee to reap. For the harvest of the heart is ripe. The scripture is telling us here that there are so many souls that are already ripe to be one to the body of Christ. There are so many that situation is already forcing them and they don't even know where to find solution to their challenges anymore. And the only place where they need to go is to come to the presence of God. He's asking, the angel is asking, put in the sickle. He's telling you and I, evangelize. Speak the word of God to that guy. Tell him about the church program. Invite him as they come. God Almighty we, we draw them unto himself. So we are going to cry unto God that every of our program in 2020 shall be a sequel of harvest that we draw souls of men to the kingdom of God. Let's cry unto him. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you tonight, O oh Lord. Every of our program Father God, let it draw the souls of men into your kingdom. Turn them to the sequel of harvest. Let them affect souls of men into your kingdom. Our Father and our God, our Sunday service, our Tuesday program, our Thursday program, our Ash and I night, our Holy Communion service, every morning prayers, Every evening prayers, Father, turn them to sequel of harvest in the name of Jesus. Oh, the evangelism group, we commit them unto your able hands tonight as they go about the city to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father God, every of their activities, turn them to sequel of harvest. Let them bring souls into your kingdom in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Brethren, in John chapter 6, verse 44. John 6, verse 44. The word of God says, and this is Jesus Christ himself speaking. 
He says, no man cometh to me except the Father which has sent me draw him and I will raise him up on the last day. We are going to cry unto God that he will draw men unto his kingdom. In this year 2020, he will draw men and women, children and young adults. He will draw men and women into the kingdom of God in the year 2020, in the name of Jesus. Let's cry unto him. Our Father and our God, we cry unto you at this hour, O oh Lord. Father, draw men and women unto yourself. We know that of ourselves, we can't bring anyone to your throne of grace. Only you have the power to draw men. Draw them into your kingdom, O oh Lord. Draw them into the body of Christ. Draw them into restoration arena. In the name of Jesus, our Father and our God, we cry unto you tonight. Draw men. Draw women. Draw young adults. Draw children unto your kingdom. In the year 2020, in the name of Jesus, Father, let there be thousands and thousands of Millions of souls, even to be to, to, to be delivered, to be one to Christ, even in the city of Stanford, in the year 2020, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Our Father and our God, we want to thank you. Oh, we bless your only name because you are a faithful God. We thank you for all the increases. Father, all the enlargement, all the additions, all the multiplications in the year 2019. Father, we pray greater enlargement shall be our portion in 2020 in the name of Jesus. Greater increase shall be our portion in the name of Jesus. Everyone that we invite to your throne of grace, you will draw them by yourself in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray by the time the year 2020 shall be ending, ah, we will say of a truth that the Lord has enlarged us, that the Lord has increased us. So shall our story be. Thank you, Father, we give you glory. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. Clapping for Jesus. If you are clapping for Jesus, I believe you can do better than that. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Indeed, our God is good. Our God is good. Turn to your neighbor. Say, it can only get better and better. How many of us have been involved in a marathon before? Or we have witnessed one? Even if we were not the one that ran it. We have witnessed where they were running a marathon. Aha. We have seen it on the Olympics. Aha. So we're about to collect the baton again. And hand it over to somebody else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joining us this evening all the way from our neighboring town here in New Haven <laughs> is our dearly beloved brother and sister, Deacon and Deaconess Ogumola. They will be blessing us with the ministry of songs. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's be seated for a few minutes. Hallelujah. I celebrate the authority in this house. Pastor, God bless you. Pastor, Mrs. God bless you, Mark. Thank you to all the, all the ministers, the organizing committee. It, uh, it, it takes only God that puts this in the, in the heart of man to praise him, even a few hours into the, the new year. Hallelujah. And we cannot praise him enough. 
if only for what he has done in 2019 or for the things that he will do or the things he's yet to do. You know, God, we cannot praise him enough to quantify what he has done. Hallelujah. So I bless God for this option over your life. I pray God will continue to increase you in Jesus' name. And I bless the Lord for um, the perfect head that he has given me, my husband. I glorify your, the name of the Lord in your life. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. In praising God, you know, casting our mind back, we might have one or two things that we are still trusting God for, that the devil is bringing to your mind and saying, you asked God for this thing this year, you didn't do it. But let's not let that blindfold us. Think of the things that God has done for us. Hallelujah. When our, our daddy, the first minister, said, come out and praise God, and everybody came out, I was dancing in my spot, and then my son said, why didn't you go out? I said, why didn't you go out? He said, you had a baby this year. I said, okay, and then I came out, hallelujah. You know, even little kids, you know, we, we, if we cast our mind back, so many things that God has done, hallelujah. So let's not focus on that little thing that he has not done. So in appreciation of him tonight, let us uh, together raise our voice as we praise him. Hallelujah. I'm going to read real quick Psalm 150, verse 1 to 6. Psalm 160, verse 1 to 6, it says, Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing grace, greatness. Praise him with the sound of trumpets. Praise him with the harps and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. And then if you have nothing else to praise him, even people that don't have hands, that, that cannot clap their hands together, people that don't have instruments, that cannot use it, use it to praise God, it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Hallelujah. In this view, this morning, uh, tonight, as because God has not taken his breath away from us, because it doesn't take him anything to take it away. So I want us to be on our feet and praise this God because he's mighty, he's good, he's kind for his faithfulness. In your own word, begin to appreciate him and say, Father, I glorify your holy name. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your favor. You said, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy upon. Thank you for counting me to be among those that you have shown your mercy upon. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you, King of Glory, Lord, because you have not allowed the desires of the enemy to come to manifestation over our life. The Bible said they have not said, ah, even as we have de desired, even that evil that we have desired has come to pass over this one. And they are not glo glorifying uh, or being happy, even over disaster concerning us. Let's appreciate him. I say, Father, we worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify your name. And we say, all hail the power of Jesus' name. Let angels come straight forth. Bring forth the road. Held them and crowned them. Lord of 
my God, from beginning to the end, there's no place for arguments, you are God of my It's you that I see. It's you. 
you that I see. It's you that I see.
nobody greater, nobody greater than you. I search all over, I searched all over, couldn't find nobody. High and low, high and low, still couldn't find nobody. Nobody great, nobody great. Oh, 
Give God a round of applause. So I don't I don't want to be a, a Debbie Downer, so to speak. Um, I know we're on a high, but you know we're praying for young adults, and uh, I asked Brother Femi to put a picture up. So this this young lady here, her name is uh. Tessa Majors. Tessa Majors attended uh, Bernard University, which is uh, a Columbia University for women. On December 11th, she went to somewhere on campus. The police officers would tell you that she went to buy weed. Doesn't really matter what she went to go buy. Could have been weed, Tylenol, whatever the case may be. This young lady was stabbed to death. She died on the steps of Columbia University going up to the security guard. She was stabbed in Morning Tide Heights. I mean, if you can if you if you've been there and you've seen that that trail of like how she was stabbed here, but she definitely made it here. Her parents dropped her off. She's from Virginia. Parents dropped her off. So picture this and then picture this church. Think of every single young adult we have in school. Every single one of them is accountable. Not a single one. So again, it didn't. It doesn't matter what this woman went to go do. Whether it's weak, doesn't make a difference. The point is, she's no longer here, and you are. And you know, we just danced just now. We have all these young kids, and they will grow up to be young adults. We have. Young adults here who will grow up to be functional adults, but they have to be alive to do that. So I just, I mean, you know, I know, you know, I'm, I'm all about reading the Bible and quoting the scriptures, but sometimes we neglect the grace of God upon our lives. We don't focus too much on, you know, sometimes we, spirit, we over spiritualize these things. And the truth of the matter is, you know what? In all actuality, life and death. Is one thing. So we can I can I can go through the verses, I can read the scriptures, but mm, this is enough. The same way you dropped off your kids in school is the same way her parents dropped off. This woman was killed December eleventh. Today is what, December thirty thirty one. First. Eighteen years old. So any future gone. 
parents who have poured into her. I mean, if you read her story, she was eager to come to Columbia, come to New York. She's from Virginia. She was ready to come to a big city. God. So I just want you to just take that in for a moment and begin to speak into the life of your kids. Everything you want for them, speak it. All the evil you know they are going to face, speak against it. Everything that has not worked out in your life that you want to work out in their life, speak it to existence. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. You know, one of the things we often talk about is, uh, you know, be careful of the company you keep. And sometimes young adults will tell you that, you know, I'm in control, it doesn't really matter. I can hang out with who I want to hang out with. While I understand that, I also understand that sometimes there are things you don't have control of because there are things you don't see. The people that you're hanging out with, you have no idea what they're carrying. You have no idea how that can sneak into your subconscious. So as parents, we're going to pray tonight that any bad company, any friend that is really after your kid's downfall, we pray that God will remove them from their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are afraid. And like I said, this woman is 18 years old, was 18 years old. I think it's safe to say that her destiny is stopped. Destiny, destiny deferred, destiny destroyed, whatever you want to call it. Who knows what she could have been. But your kids are still there. So this next prayer, I want you to just ask their father, the purpose and the destiny of the lives of my children, they will fulfill it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. This next prayer might not be easy to pray, but nonetheless, we often pray about enemies outside when it comes to our children. We never, sometimes we never look in the mirror and see that maybe we are the ones. There might be an issue in the life of these kids in one way or another. So I want us to pray that, Father, as a parent, any way that the enemy might use me to become a thorn in my child's life, Father, I remove it from me in the mighty name of Jesus.
For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. I didn't understand it until I had my own kids. Now I understand it. It's difficult for parents to let go. Even when their kids are out there. It's difficult for them to let go. Because they're calling them. And I, I can understand why the fear, the experience you've lived. But I want you to take comfort in the fact that you live in Jesus Christ. That you serve a God who will be there even when you're not there. And as much as we don't want to admit, they will get older. They will move out. They will start their own families. There are some things you have experienced in your life in your marriage. Speak that they will have a better marriage. Everything that, anything you have gone through that you don't want your kids to deal with, speak that God will not allow them to fall into the same traps in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Now I know the young ones are in the back and there are some folks in front and some the young adults who are not here. And I know that, you know, we send them to school and, and to get degrees and whatnot. But hey, they need folks. And I think one of the mistakes we make as parents, at least I've seen parents make it, y'all wait until they come and say, Daddy, Mommy, I miss this guy. And I've met this person before we start speaking in tongues. Why don't we start praying those prayers early? Say, Father, for these ones, whoever you are going to give them, you will actually give them the phone of their phone and a special privilege. There are a lot of imitation husbands and wives walking around. Pray that they don't pick up someone that doesn't belong to them in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. In another few hours, we will be in another new year. It's a new chapter. It's a new beginning for so many. As parents, I just want you to pray for your kids and say, call their names out. Call them one by one. I just pray that for each and every one of them in the coming year, in the coming years, because I don't believe this is the portion of any parent to cry over their child in this church in the mighty name. That will never be our portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So our prayer goes beyond just 2020. It goes further than that. For the, for the coming years, every good thing you want for your child, I want you to begin to prophesy it into their lives tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. So our Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this church. We thank you for this, the young adults that you have given us in this place. Father, we pray that you will continue to keep them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, for those who are here, for those who are not, we pray that, Lord, your hand of, of protection will never move away from them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we, we commit their steps into your hand, Lord. We pray that from here on out, Lord, that you will be the one to direct their path in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, for every big decision they will make in this lifetime, Father, my prayer is involved in it in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Father, once again, we just give you the glory, we give you the honor, we give you the adoration. Father, we pray that for those who are not yet young adults, but Lord, that they too, they will enjoy your blessings in the mighty name of Jesus. And that Lord, above all, when it's all said and done, that your will will prevail in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's give God a round of applause. Praise the Lord. Turn to your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, is he getting there? You know how you are eating? When you are eating, you check your stomach to be sure whether it has reached there. Uh -huh. Ask your neighbor, is he getting there? He remains small. Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. We are gradually getting there. So don't worry. You will soon get there. Very soon, you will be the one complaining. God, this is too much. You don't believe me. This is the word of God coming to you. You say, you will be complaining that, ah, God, this is too much. Amen. We are going to do something similar to what we did yesterday as we go into the fourth session of praise and worship tonight. How many of us have been enjoying ourselves so far in the presence of the Lord? Aha. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. So we'll be going to a session of worship, you know. No mind me, I am the I'm very Jelenke ish, if you know. I like worship, you know, let's just be in the presence of God and just be singing jejeli. Right? So we'll be doing something um in that line today before we hear the word of God. Uh so just prepare your mind. Like I said yesterday, allow yourself not to be distracted if you can. Because God is indeed going to do something different in your life in this program. These three days, this this drill that we are experience that we are going through fast from morning to evening and then come here from night to one a.m. It will not be in vain. It won't be a routine. In the mighty name of Jesus. So for the next couple of minutes, let's just open our hearts to the Most High. Let's just worship him. Let's just exalt him. Let's just enjoy his fullness. Enjoy his glory. Enjoy praise him from the bottom of our hearts. And as we do so, he will, in his awesomeness, you know how I described it yesterday, that the king will be so elated. That he will stand up. Let me say one thing that my dad used to say. We say, when the gogo man is praising the king, you know, I come from a royal family. You will now say, the gogo, it's one line I remember, so pardon my people. You say, la 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 la, no, the cover can't let me load you. That's when they give him one cover. As he's praising the king, you want to fish, I'm going to you want to fish. You know, when he's praising him with the talking drum. The man will go inside again. He will go and bring a butter and give it to the guy. The guy will see me praising him. They will not give him. Bring one cover. Put it on his head. You know, say, la, 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 cover. Come, let me load you. That's the only line I remember. So, pardon me. So, tonight, God is going to. Oh, sorry. I didn't interpret it. What I was trying to say is, that line is that he he puts a cup, a note, a cover note, one cover, yeah, on my head. Just the same, you know how we used to spray money now? Yeah, something like that. Apologies if you did not understand what I was trying to say. But I believe you understand the context I was trying to build. So in that, um, in that spirit, we are going to be worshiping tonight. Please help me call our instrumentalists so that they can help us.
meaning of Yahweh. The meaning of Yahweh is, in the best way they could interpret it to English, it meant the one who was, who is, and is to come. Just think about that for a minute. The one who was, before time even began, before we began to record time, he was already in existence. The one who is, right now, the same yesterday, today, and forever. And the one who is to come. The one who clothes himself in awesomeness. Who clothes himself in glory. The creator of the heavens and the earth. of the tribe of Judah.
worship you tonight, Jesus. <laughs> we worship you tonight, Jesus. King of kings and Lord of lords. Ah, the one who's seated in the heavens. We join the angels and the 24 elders tonight to say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God Almighty. The whole earth is filled with your glory, Lord. The whole earth is filled with your glory, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. spirit sometimes it's something that you cannot you can you don't have control over i just have a simple message for us you are in this place you know there's something that is making you to shed tears the lord said you are seeing the tears that tears are flowing his children are crying did you know you are in this place there's something that makes you shed tears those things that you cannot explain to anybody, you cannot communicate, you cannot open to anyone. When pastor comes here to minister, you will simply walk to the front. Pastor will pray for you because the Lord says he's going to wipe away those tears. As you worship the Lord God Almighty, he will wipe away those tears. So you're coming out for pastor to just confirm that wiping of tears and you will go back free. That is my message. May the Lord be blessed in Jesus' name. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh,
Jesus, how can I tell you how beautiful you are to me? Jesus, song that the angels sing, Jesus, dearer to my heart than anything, sweeter than springtime, purer than sunshine. Ever my song will be Jesus, you're beautiful to me. Incredible, incredible God. Does it matter what comes my way? Bigger plan. 
Ah, Jesus! Jesus! You have been so good. We are not ungrateful. We are so grateful. You have been so, so good. Ah, that song says, everything is working out for my good. Think about it. Think about it all, the, all through the year 2019. How everything has been working out for your good. Even when you thought it didn't work out for your good, it eventually worked out for your good. <laughs> Hallelujah. sing a particular part of it that I recently learned. You are here moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. Oh, you are here. Mending broken hearts. We worship you. We worship you. You are here. Turning lives around. We worship you. We worship you. Cause you are, you are Waymaker, miracle worker Promise keeper Live in the darkness My God, that is who you are We know you are the Waymaker You're the answer to it all. Ah, Jesus. You wipe away all tears. You mend the broken heart. You are the answer to it all. To it all. Jesus. You are way maker, miracle walker. see it, you're working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. You never stop, you never stop working. You never stop, 
You never stop working Even when I don't see it, you're working Even when I don't see it, you're working Never stop, you never stop working Never stop, you never stop. Even when I don't see Even when I don't see it, you're working even when I don't see it, you're working. You never stop. You never stop working. You never stop. You never stop working. Even when I don't see it, you're working. Because we serve a God that never sleeps or slumber. You never stop. You are. You are. You are the way maker. Talk to him tonight. There's no other one that we have come to meet other than him. Guest ministers, host choir, instrumentals, all of that are just effort. It is only the God who saves. It is only the God who saves. It is only Jesus that can do what no man can do. Lord, we ask of you tonight 
that you will hear us. You will come in, into our midst and you will hear us, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that none of us will go back the same way we have come, in the name of Jesus. Lord, that none of us will go back the same, that we will experience you tonight, that we will encounter you tonight, even as we praise you, even as we worship, even as we sing songs of worship, even as we sing songs of praise, that you will inhabit our praise, Lord, that you will inhabit our place, Lord, you will indwell us, we will be carriers of your grace, we will be carriers of your favor, even as we go into the new year, we thank you for all that you have done in 2019. We are going forth in your strength and your power into 2020. We give you all the praise for that which you have done. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We worship you. We thank you for what you have done, Lord. We worship your name. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord, we worship you. You are Alpha and Omega. Sing with me, say you are Alpha and Omega. You are Alpha and Omega. So we worship you. We worship you, Alpha. to personalize it for yourself. Say, I give you all. I give you all. All the glory you deserve. The glory. I worship you.
take the, a couple of minutes to just talk to the Lord tonight. We came to give praise and thank God, but it's just one day. It's a couple of hours, a couple of minutes, and one day into the last day of 2019. And you might have something that needs to get done in 2019. This is a good time to actually talk to God about it. You might have an appointment tomorrow. And it's very pertinent to your life and your destiny that, that you get a favorable response from that appointment. Talk to God about it tonight. He's here. Just tell him, God, fix this. Fix it. Fix it. And if you don't have anything that you want to get done in 2019, that's fine. You can pray about 2020 as well. Because I have so much that I won't get done in 2020. So, you can start talking to God about it as well. Like, God, you're here now. This is the desire of my heart. This is what I want. This is, my, this is what I want. The Bible says, the desires of the righteous shall not be cut short. Talk to him about it tonight. Talk to him about it. As the pastor comes up to minister to you tonight, just talk to him about it. Tell him, this is what I want fixed. I'm going to stop talking now because I have my own tool to talk to God about. Talk to God. He's hearing you. Go to sleep. He's hearing you. He's here. He listens to you now. Here is an opportunity for you to talk to him. Father, hearken unto me this morning. Hear me, O oh Lord. 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 Begin to talk to God. Talk to him while he's near. Talk to him. Talk to him. Is
want us to rise up as we sing that song. somebody beside you and pray for that person and tell God, say, Father, speak to your son, speak to your daughter, attend to her, attend to him in the mighty name of Jesus, whatever might be is our challenge, O oh Lord, or challenges, O oh Lord, Father, Lord, tonight, attend to him, take away those challenges, Take away those challenges, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak to me, O Lord. Speak to me, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Jehovah. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' everlasting name, we are praying. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Just touch the person beside you. Say, please don't sleep. Please don't sleep. And this is uh, a preacher was preaching. And uh, in front, there was one man who was sleeping. And he continued to, the preacher continued to, to preach. At a point, the preacher had to stop and he asked the, the man sitting be, beside the sleeping man in the front. He said, wake him up. He said, wake him up. And the man said, no. He said, you have to wake him up because your preacher is the one that is making him to sleep. So I'm not going to make you to sleep tonight. Praise the Lord. I want you to open the Bible with me to the book of Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 1. And I'm going to read a couple of passages there, verse 6 to 8. First, Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 to 8. I read quickly. Say, the Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, Ye have dwelt long enough in this mount. Say, Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites. And unto all the places nigh there too, in the plain, in the hills, and in the vale, and in the south, by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. Said, Behold, I have set the land before you. Said, Go in and possess the land, which the Lord swear unto your fathers. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, to give unto them and to their seed after them. Praise the Lord. The Lord is saying to somebody here tonight, 
I have given you year 2020. He said, year 2020, he said, go and possess it. He said, it is enough. He said, you are staying on the same spot enough. He said, turn ye and go forward. Somebody is here that is going to move forward in year 2020. If you are that person, shout hallelujah. The title of my short message is the change that we need in year 2020. The change that we need in year 2020. This is a period that all of us will make resolution. Some of us will say, I want to lose weight. Some will say, I will stop uh, taking money from credit card. Some will say, I will start to save money. Some will say, I will start to read my Bible. Some will say, I will start to go to church the more. But more often, we find out that 97% of those resolutions, they are never made. Maybe for the first six weeks of the month of January, January and February, you can keep to it. I remember when I said I'm going to lose weight. And I said, no, this year I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to make sure that I cut myself uh, the pound by 25 pounds. Behold, I cut to 20. But you know what? As soon as I stop, I blow like a blow bloom. Praise the Lord. I came back with, 20, uh, with 35. I wanted to cut 25. I came back with 35. So we know that some of those, we never met them. But spiritually, I want to tell you, as long as Israelite, as long as they remain on that spot, they will never move forward. God is telling them, God, is this an account by Moses of how the journey of 11 days became 40 years. Until God told them, God said, ah, ah, you have stayed on this month for too long. He said, move forward. He said, turn forward. Move back. Move, move like this and move forward. I pray that somebody will move forward in year 2020 in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Brethren, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing and expect different results. Praise the Lord. If you continue to do what you are doing in 2019, by the time we are here next year, we'll still be praying like this. Praise the Lord. You have to do something different next year. You have to change something about what you do next year in order not to remain at the same spot. You have to make a deliberate effort to do things differently. I tell you, when you look at this Bible passage that we read, there are so many things that happened to the children of Israel, even when they were asked to move forward. Let's go, for, let's go to verse 26. Verse 26. He said, notwithstanding, ye will not go up, but rebel against the commandment of the Lord your God. And ye murmured in your tents and said, because the Lord hated us, he had brought us forth out of the land of Egypt to deliver us unto the, into the hand of the Ammonites to destroy us. Whither shall we go up? Our brethren have discouraged our heart, saying, the people is greater and taller than we. The cities are great and walled up to heaven. And moreover, we are seeing the sons of Hanakim there. Said, then I said unto you, dread not, neither be afraid of them. The Lord your God, which dwell before you, he shall fight for you, according to all that he did for you in Egypt before your eyes. The God that has brought you into this land, he has not brought you to this land to suffer. He has not brought you this far to abandon you. He has not brought your family to abandon you. You know what the people said? The people that went there, they said, we have saw the Anna king. There are, there are four people that will discourage you or that may discourage you next year. That will say, they are the alarmist. They are motivated by fear and exaggerated risk. You say, ah, don't do it, oh. I've seen somebody who went into that business. He's still paying, he's still in debt now. 
Praise the Lord. I hope by the time I finish with this, with this uh, sermon, you are not going to be an atheist. Look. If you look at this, the, the story of those successful people, Bill Gates, look at Warren Buffett, look at Michael Dell, look at all of them. They are not sleeping in church. They are not having, they are not sleeping, they are not going from one mountain of fire and miracle to one uh, redeemed Christian church of God to one. They are not. They just have to do something differently. Praise the Lord. They just have to think and do things differently. You need to do something differently next year. The difference between you and them is that you know God. If you know God, if you had that God that you know, plus thinking differently, you are going to be more you are going to succeed more than they do. And that will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They are the traditionalists, number two people. They say, ah, they don't like change. No, 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 no. That is the way we used to do it. That is the way you, we used to do it. I remember there was a, when I joined this company, and the, the lady, anytime I want to do this one, say, ah, no, 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 no. Ah, that is the culture. We not say, I said, if that is the culture, the culture that made us to lose money last year, if we continue with that culture, I'm ready to fire as many as half of my team in order to change that culture. Brethren, you have to break the culture. Praise the Lord. You have to break the culture in order to do something differently. Many of us, and this is not something, we don't have white as friends. All the friends that you have, they are like me here, like this. Please don't get me wrong. I have my own thing that I can contribute to you. But you need to have friends among the white. Start to have lunch and dinner with them. It's not every dinner that will be profitable to you, but there are dinner that will be profitable to you eventually. Don't think that by having dinner with them, you are wasting your money. No. You need to invest. Praise the Lord. If you sit down on the same floor doing the same thing, you will get the same result at the end of the year. Praise the Lord. The change that we need in year 2020. If the Israelites, if they remain on Mount or where they were for almost 40 years, and they continue to pray, Lord, deliver or deliver, they will continue to be there. Until they follow the instruction and they had to do something different. They were no longer sitting on the same spot. You have to do something different in year 2020. There are some I call defeatists. Those are the top people. The top people. They always see problem. They never see a solution in a problem. But they always see a problem in a solution. When you say, let us do it like this, I see a problem in that solution. Why can't we do it like this? They will spot the problem. Every time, problem. Every time, problem. They always see a problem, a solution. You need to run away from those people in year 2020. You need to do things differently. You need to have different friends. Don't, don't because of that, say that I'm black. You won't greet me again, no. Praise the Lord. But you need, there is power of networking in this country. If you want to succeed in this country, let me be generous to the black people. Maybe you are 15% of this country. The rest, 95%, they are not black. The rest, uh, 85%, they are not black. For you to succeed, you need to network through these people. Praise the Lord. You need to network through these people. There is power of networking. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is the antagonist. The fear that we will lose control. And you will try to stand on their way. The antagonist. Everything that you do, they will antagonize you. There are people that will tell you, ah, 
now you need to come and build house in Nigeria. Whereas you are suffering here. Praise the Lord. The house that you may not live at all. I remember when I went home, my wife and I were sitting down like this, and my brother was saying, <laughs> if you see the house that let me build to me, like right? it's about 50 million naira. I said, ah, that is good. Oh. Let me sleep in the right? I am living, I'm not even living in Oshobo. I'm not living in Lagos. I'm li let me continue paying my mortgage. When I finish my mortgage, then I can think of it. I don't know what I'm going when I'm going to go to a rugby. And the last time I went to a rugby was 1998. What am I going to do there? You are suffering here. You don't have anything here. Yet they are asking you to come and build house in Nigeria. Let me tell you, I'm an accountant. If you build a house in Nigeria, it will take you a minimum of 45 years if you are renting that house to get your return on investment. Minimum of 45 years. To get return on that investment. Make sure you take care of yourself here. Before you take care of anybody in Nigeria. Before you go and build a house in Nigeria. You'll be suffering here. You need to do something different. Start to invest money here. Amen. Amen. Start to invest money here. A $50, $100 make a difference in investment. There was, I, I read, uh, I wrote one uh, article for the men of valor. I was discussing with this guy in my office. I am older than this guy by 18 years. Okay? That means he was not born when I was almost in the college. He was not born. And he was, he, was, he was talking to me. He said, so what do you, how much do you have in your 401k? We were just talking. I said, then he said, my 401k, apart from the money that I invested some shares, was $1.3 million. I looked at him. I was pitying myself. He said, no, he said, you can start anywhere. I said, ah, you know my age? Do you know my age? So, praise the Lord. You need to do things differently. Five cobble, um, five cent, ten cent. Start to look for coupon. Praise the Lord. This is a this is a deep topic. Look for coupon. Coupon. If you save five cent, ten cent, they make money. Praise the Lord. It make a difference. Start to trading. You may trade on Wall Street, you may lose. But make your choice. Educated choice. Praise the Lord. Educated choice. If you hundred dollars per month makes a difference. Hundred dollars in five years, you see that there is a difference. Praise the Lord. You need to do different things differently. If you continue to do the same thing, you go in the morning and you come back in the seventh year, you are having two jobs, maybe by next year you have, three, you have three jobs, you continue to be on the same spot and we'll be discussing the same thing. Praise the Lord. You need to do something differently. Have different friends. My boss, when I was uh, <laughs> my boss said, and this is small, this is the power that you can have. My boss said that, ah, my, my son needed something. It's a toy. He look around, he look all the internet. He look at all the internet. He said, the only place he can get it was Singapore. And if they had to send it from Singapore, they said that it's going to take two weeks for him. To get it. But his son needed it before 25. And we are talking about just one week. Now, even if they can ship it, they can we are it and everything, they told him that it's two weeks. And he just tell me, he said, Ah, Bayo, can you help me? I said, I can help you. He said, I, said, I can help you. He said, I'm going to call some people. They will go to that shop in that corner, remote corner of Singapore. They will get it for you. 
Say, who are you going to? I say, I'm going to call somebody. I only went to Singapore once. But I tried to make friends. I just called the guy. Hey, my boss needed this one. He said, where is it? I said, it's so, so, so street. I said, it's so, so street. He said, ah. he said, are you sure? I said, they have only two there. So can you help me go there today? I will appreciate it. How much is it? It's $65. The guy went there. And I told my boss, I said, don't worry. I'm going to Brazil. I will ask the guy to bring it to Brazil. The guy is coming to Brazil. He's going to bring it. He said, you got it? I said, I got it. When he's going to do my appraisal, you will remember that thing. <laughs> Praise the Lord. He's going to remember that thing. So as I got to Brazil, I said, before we started to do anything, I said, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? He said, it's here. Pack it. The boy got it, and the boy was happy. My boss was calling me. Thank you. My wife will have sent me out of the house. My son. So that is it. Praise the Lord. What am I trying to say? Small thing. Wherever you go, make friends there. Praise the Lord. Make friends there. This country is just less than 15% of your country. Make friends. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. I close with this story. I want you to listen well. An army barrack had, had four soldiers getting a concrete slab in front of the barracks at all times. Different commanders came and went, but the tradition remained. The soldiers changed shift, guarding the slab. After 80 years, a new commander was assigned to the barracks. One of the, the things he did was to ask why the things were done the way they were. When he asked why the soldiers were guarding the slab, he was told, we've always done it this way. It's a tradition. Our former commanders instructed us to do that. The commander went, was bent on finding out the reason for this practice. He went to the archives to look for answers and came across a document that had the explanation. The document was very old. It had instruction written by one of the retired commanders who had even passed away. The new commander learned that over the 80 years ago, over 80 years ago, the barracks wanted to build a platform where events could be performed. When the concrete slab was laid, wild animals walk over it at night before the slab could dry. The soldiers would fix it the next morning, but when evening came, the same thing would happen. So the soldier, and so the commander ordered that the four soldiers should guard the concrete slab for three weeks to allow it to dry. The following week, the commander was transferred to handle another assignment elsewhere, and a new commander was brought in. And the new commander found the routine and continued to enforce it without asking any question. And since then, every commander that came did the same. Thus, 80 years later, soldiers continued to guarding the concrete slab, an assignment that was ordinarily designed to just last three weeks. 80 years of ignorance with hard labor had passed. Brethren, are you carrying on an obsolete beliefs? Obsolete traditions? Culture that were relevant to certain people at certain time, but are irrelevant today. What is your opinion about yourself? People of different race, politics, certain business opportunities, certain business problems. Maybe you are sitting here tonight and you are guiding a concrete slab. Pastor. Grace, 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 grace. We have not shared the grace. Tradition. A 
it must rise up. We are going to pray tonight. Father, tonight, oh Lord, give me that aptitude and strength to do things differently. To move from the same spot to a better place. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Just like I spoke to the children of Israel, O oh Lord, that they have stayed too long on that month, O oh Lord. Father, Lord, let me move away, O oh Lord. Let me move forward, O oh Lord. As you spoke to Moses, O oh Lord, Father, speak to me, O oh Lord. The strength that I need to move forward. Father, speak to me. Begin to pray to God. Father, I want to move forward. I don't want to be on the same spot next year. Give me ideas. Give me ideas, oh Lord. Ideas to move forward. Ideas to invest in the mighty name of Jesus. Brethren, Bill Gates was not born with two eggs. And even Donald Trump himself was not born with two heads. Michael Dell was not born with two heads. Pray that God will give you ideas in year 2020. That you will move forward in the mighty name of Jesus. It took a non-believer to talk to me in order to set my life right. Talk to me. He was joking. But I took note of his joke. As we are going from one church to the other, as we are going from one parish to the other for one program, create time for yourself to think about what you need to do differently next year. As you are praying, if you are praying, practical, do practical Christianity next year. As you are praying, practically think about what can I do differently? What can move my life forward? What can I do differently? Pray to God. God is here. Pray to him. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, let's stretch forth our hand to our pastor. Let us pray for him. That the virtue that has left him, that the Lord God Almighty will refill him from his throne of grace. That the change that he needs to do to move forward in year 2020, the Lord God Almighty will reveal to him in the name of Jesus. That everything that he has said tonight, none will stand against him in the last day in the name of Jesus. Let us pray that it shall be well with him. It shall be well with his family. In this year 2020 that we are moving into, the Lord God Almighty will move him higher spiritually, physically, and materially in the name of Jesus. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you. We we'll bless your name. Please uphold your son. Increase his anointing in the name of Jesus. All that he has said tonight, let it not stand against him in the last day. Father, Lord, we thank you. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let us give the Lord a round of applause. If you know you have been blessed, if you know that all the praises of tonight, the Lord is in our midst. The Bible says, let people praise thee. Let the people praise thee, O Lord, so that the earth will yield this increase unto us. And the Lord our God will bless us. We are already blessed. Let us seal up our blessings tonight with a good offering for our God. We are in the last day of the year 2019. Today is the 31st of December 2019 and it's going to go out in another few hours. Let us get a, a befitting offering for our God for all that he has done in our lives, for showing us mercy, for upholding us, for keeping us standing.
for pro providing for us, for the good health we are enjoying, that we are still alive, we are hale and hearty, no one is missing, no one is lost. Let us get a good offering, the best. Let the choir help us. Let us rise up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to go into reggae time. Well, I got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I got my mind made up and I Someday I got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. Oh, and I'm at, oh, and I'm at all the time. We know, we know, we 
winner, 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 man. Oh, winner, 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 man. Oh, winner, 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 man. Oh, winner, man, all the time. opportunity to drop your offering can you please raise up your hand okay let us pray let us stretch forth our hand because this is the offering to seal up our praises of tonight for God bringing us to the last day in the year 2019 please let us we are the best prophets for ourselves let's prophesy upon this offering, what you want your offering to do. Our Father and our God, we just want to thank you. Please speak to your offering. Send your offering on an errand. Pray to God for those things that you want and the ones that you don't want in your life. Concerning your finances. Concerning your health. Concerning your family. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And so our heavenly father, the king of glory, we your children with a joyful heart, in obedience to your word that we should not come to your presence empty handed. We have brought, we have brought, we have this grace to bring this unto you. We pray Lord that you will accept us and you will accept our offering. Father Lord, we thank you for that which you have done for us in the year 2019. Father, we pray by this offering that we will not lack any good thing. Father, you will prosper the work of our hands. You will remove every form of sickness from our lives. In the name of Jesus. As we enter into year 2020, we shall be blessed. It shall be well with us. Father, Lord, we thank you. Perhaps there's anybody that is in our midst that wish to give today but could not give. We ask that, Lord, you will bless them. So, mightily, that next time, they will be able to give bountifully unto you. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. 
Praise the Lord. Please kindly listen to the following announcements. I would like to welcome you all to the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Restoration Arena, Stamford, Connecticut. Our daily morning prayers continues from Mondays to Saturdays from 6.30 a.m. to 7 a.m. And evening prayers on Monday and Friday at 9 p.m. The conference number is 605-313-5147 and the access code is 604-681-POUND. The playback number is 605-313-5153. Our end of the month prayer and fasting continues and will conclude today. Our year-end praise night continues today at 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., followed by our crossover service that begins tonight at 8 p.m. RCCGNA 2020 National Prayer Retreat will be held from January 16, 2020 to January 18, 2020. The theme is Better Than the Beginning. The venue is Day Spring Conference Center located on Redemption Camp 515, County Road 118, Greenville, Texas 75401. Ministering will be Pastor James Fidel, Pastor Wole Oladiun, and Pastor Peter Olawale. Admission is free, and for more information, please visit www.rccgna.org. Thank you, everyone. And if there are any other announcements, our pastor will let you know. Praise the Lord. Let the living of the Lord shout hallelujah. We bless the name of the almighty God. Because indeed he is worthy to be praised. And we know we will continue to praise him in the name of Jesus. We are about to close. But before we close... Uh, I believe during the course of the worship, our mommy came out that she got a revelation from the Lord. And so we want to quickly pray. If you are the person that, you know, the revelation has been, uh, may I use the word directed to, please just come forward. We want to pray for you before we end this program this morning. Praise the Lord. Let's just lift up our voice and pray for anyone that might be in whatever that issue is. Whether, you know, that whatever it is that is making them to weep, we want to ask God to visit that in this morning. That even as 2019 is rolling out, the Almighty God will answer them. Let's begin to talk to the Almighty God. That Father, whatever it is that they are crying for, that they are saying, Lord, enough is enough for. Lord, arise and visit your children. Father, we know that there is nothing you cannot do. There is nothing too difficult for you to do. Your children have come before you tonight. And they have come to say, Lord, this cry must end. Therefore, Lord, we join our faith with your children. Today, this early morning, the early hour of the 31st of December 2019. We are calling on you with our faith joined with your children. The Lord, everything making them to cry. And then has come to it today in the name of Jesus. Ah, receive your answer. Receive your answer. Receive that breakthrough. You will return with testimony. You will return with testimony. You will return with testimony. You will come back with testimony. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father, my God. Blessed be your name, Lord. Father, we lift up our voice. We commit our mommies into your hand. You know what that thing is that is pinching them, that is making them to cry. And we join our faith with them this morning that whatever it is, you will turn it around. Whatever it is, it will receive the touch of heaven. Whatever it is, they will return with testimony. Thank you, faithful Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Let the living of the Lord shout hallelujah.
Before we end, we are going to sing a song. We sang that song yesterday. Can the choir please rise up? Can everybody rise up? Today is the 31st. The fact that we have seen this day is not by our power. It's by the grace and the mercy of God. It's only God and only God. So we want to sing that song as we prepare to close. I want everybody to please rise up. I know, you know, we have been dancing, we have been moving. I know the body might be tired, but the Lord is your strength. Rasha Allah, I need you here. Because there was a way you sang the song. He knew me do. We be mo jo ni bagbo. He knew me do. Oh yes. Congratulations. Ore mo ware wa. Ore mo ware wa. Ore mo ware wa. Ore mo ware wa. Congratulations, 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 Wave your hand to the Almighty God that the Lord brought you in to the last day of December 2019. Without a doubt, many passed away even when the little hour was left to come into this day. But you came in. <laughs> you came in. That means you will see the end of this day. And you will move into 2020. Just thank God. Wave the hand. Wave the hand. Wave your hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Brethren, please, I just want to appeal to us as we are living. Look to your right. Look to your left. If there's anything there, please pick it. When we came in this morning or this afternoon, the church was not in a good standing was really dirty. And I don't think it's good for the house of God to be like that. All man, you know, bottles, teacups, everything was all over the place. Please, it's not good. So as you leave, please look to your right, look to your left. Make sure your environment is clean. And as you do so, the Almighty God will bless you in the name of Jesus. I want to thank the choir. Please, let's put our hands together for the choir. Let's put our hands together. Let's thank God for all our instrumentalists. Let's put our hands together for them. And I want to thank everyone that has made it. The Lord will bless you. You that have been able to dance in the end of this year, 2019, you will also dance at the end of 2020. In the name of Jesus. You will not be missing. You will not be missing. You will not be missing. Not be missing. In the name of Jesus. One more time, wave your hand to the Almighty God. 
Rob, yeah, just wave, just wave those hands. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Daddy, once again, we want to thank you. We thank you for what you did yesterday. We thank you for what you did day before yesterday. And we are thanking you for what you will do today. Father, as we go, Daddy, go with us. You brought everyone here in safety. As we go, Lord, go with us. Pray that none of us will be involved in any accident. And as we go and we come back today for the last day of this year, 2019, none of us will be missing in the name of Jesus. We commit to this program into your hand that your name will be glorified. Thank you, my Father, my God. Blessed be your name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Can we please hold hands as we share the grace together in fellowship? One, two, go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Go to three people and say, I will see you in 2020. Three people, tell them, you will see you, I will see you, I will see you in 2020. I will see you, sir.